Hi guys, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you for the month ahead. It is going to be a general reading. If you're interested in the personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. The email is going to be listed below the video. At the bottom of the deck is the devil, the Baphomet's energy. And I really feel like this is, um, I feel like it's like a warning or it's a sign to to the people that I'm connected to, to really watch um, who it is that you're spending time with and who it is that you choose to give your energy to, okay? Because there could be some people in your life or even some things like distractions that are actually taking up a lot of your energy depleting you of your energy and it's not necessarily fulfilling you or it's not necessarily giving you anything back in return so now I feel like it's really important especially at this particular point in time I don't know if it's because you're a little bit more focused or you should be a little bit more focused um, but be careful of any distractions be careful to not get too distracted um, I also feel like it's like, like you're being a little bit more selective about who you choose to spend your time with. There are certain people that you're probably uh, saying no to socializing with um, or certain pe people that you are probably steering away from. And that's because, you know, these uh, people, these energies are sort of like emotional vampires. And yeah, and I think it's also a sign for you to eliminate any distractions, especially if there's like a project or a task that you're uh, focusing on or if there's some sort of deadline you need to meet um, some of you could be getting a little bit dist distracted here three of cups energy there is some sort of uh, good news or I feel like there's something here worth celebrating um, this is you having a good time you spending quality time with the people that you love and the people that give back to you um, but you're also celebrating something like you're letting your hair down you're dancing you're having a good time you're feeling very relaxed it just could be that time of the year it could be some uh, milestone that you're celebrating or it could be some sort of good news or success that you're going to be toasting i feel like there's something you know whether it's news or whether it's an accomplishment of some sort i definitely feel like this is good energy and this is good news this is good stuff coming your way um, some of you potentially could be reconnecting here with someone whom you haven't seen with in a long time. It doesn't necessarily feel like a reconciliation, but it's just someone whom I don't think you've seen in a while. Could be like a really close friend or a sibling. It feels like you have a close connection with this person. Knight of Pentacles energy and the Two of Pentacles, I really feel like there's some project or there's something here that you've been working on. And it's been taking up a lot of your time and a lot of your energy and a lot of your attention. And it's kind of been very, it's been a very slow process, right? It feels like you've been, either you've been working on this for a long time or you've just been working at it and you haven't necessarily seen results, right? Um, results are happening and things are happening uh, behind the scenes um, if this is something you've been working on a really long time for some of you it feels like you just kind of you want to get to the finish line um, you want to get this project over and done with because um, it's something that I feel like you've been working on for a while I'm not saying to rush or anything but I'm, I'm saying maybe give yourself a deadline right because it just feels like I don't know, maybe it's like a hobby or it's something that you do on the side and it feels like you've got no one to answer to or there's no looming deadline or, or anything. And I feel like you'll notice just how much more motivated or disciplined you'll be if you like give yourself a deadline. You know, you need to finish this task by so-and-so. 
So try doing that and see how it works. Two of Pentacles energy. I feel like you're going to be extremely busy. I honestly feel like um, there's more money coming in. But at the same time, I feel like you're working, like you're putting more energy into something. And as a result, like you're seeing results from it. You could be doing, um, you could be putting in extra hours at work. You could be taking up something, um, you could be taking up like a second job or just something up on the side that does make you money, gener it does generate you um, an additional income. Or you could be taking an ID, something that you love doing and just having fun with it and, you know, turning this into a money-making um, project of some sort. Or it just could be that your business right now, whatever it is that you're doing, it's picking up, it's getting busier. And so you may feel like you have to take advantage of, you know, this business. You may feel like you've been putting in a lot of energy into something and you're finally going to see like you're finally going to reap what you've been sowing you're finally going to see results for something show up um this is also a bit of indecision kind of energy um some of you i feel like you're being pulled maybe into very different directions maybe you have a choice to make between two people or between you know two different things it is a little bit indecisive uh just remember when you make a decision right you you know, whatever it is that you decide on, you end up cutting yourself off from the other choice that you've had, right? Because you decide and you commit to the choice that you've chosen. So for those of you that are struggling, just remember you have to, you know, pick a side, um, make a choice and then cut yourself off from the other choice. I also think it's an energy for you to just maybe not take yourself so seriously right now. Or there's some situation, like there's something that you're working on, it's a project, um, or it could be like a relationship or something. And the message that I get for you is just like, yeah, don't take it too seriously. I feel like you're probably making it harder than it seems. You probably didn't like that, but you're probably making this a little bit harder than it seems or than it should be, right? Just have fun with it. Um, loosen up a little bit and I feel like it'll come easier to you ideas or the project or whatever this is don't ever think it is what I'm trying to say um page of swords energy you're going to there's someone here that I feel like you're going to be doing research on someone may get um someone may be getting in contact with you and you might you know this could be for an interview or someone may want to collaborate or work with you in the future and so it's like you want to do as much research around this person about this person about this company as you can you want to be as knowledgeable as you can coming into this um, or it could be research on a specific book or on a specific thing but I feel like like you're googling you're doing a lot of googling you're doing a lot of researching um, maybe even a lot of cyber stalking it's, it's like you're trying to find out as as much as you can about this person or what this person is up to or you know who they are what they represent the company they represent um you could also hear from someone or you may um whilst you're doing this research whilst you're digging up all this information you may come across someone from the uh someone from the past a blast from the past or an ex whom you're going to like you haven't seen this person in a long time and you're going to discover something about this person. You may discover that they may be seeing someone else or that they've um, started a new job or that they're doing something completely different or that they're even out of the country. But you're going to learn something new about this person. It doesn't have to be a romantic energy. It could be about a sibling, a friend, someone whom you haven't heard from in ages. You're going to discover something new learn something new about this person what they've been up to maybe they've changed their look the thing is it's been a long time since you and this person had any contact so i guess you know things did change things happened in the t in the time that you guys stopped talking um, and likewise like if they were to turn around and you know um, look at you i'm sure you've changed since the last time you spoke right i'm sure there's some you know there's something new in your life and there's something going on with you that they probably aren't aware of it's just that you and this person haven't haven't been in contact i don't know if there's been a fallout or if you kind of just you know they've fallen off your radar but you will learn something new about someone that 
you've either had a connection with and maybe still may to this day or someone that you're like you're trying to work with or you're trying to work for um and you'll learn something you'll discover something about the person or the company you're um, looking into i do think expect to hear contact or expect to hear uh, expect to have contact or expect to hear from someone who has fallen off your radar um I do think that there is someone here who has been thinking about reaching out to you for quite some time, given the multitude of the ones, but it's only now that they're going to reach out to you. Um, could have something to do with nostalgic. The Six of Cups is very uh, a very nostalgic kind of energy. So I think that this, this person is missing you. I think you're also missing them. I think that you may still have ties and you may still have a connection with this person. So expect for, to hear from this person. Expect to hear from... Um, like expect to receive a message a phone call um, or even like a dm from this person could be the person that you you know that you've been googling or cyber stalking or you've learned um you learned something about could be someone else but this is someone whom you've been like you and this person were very close at one time right it could be someone like it could be a family member it could be like a friend that you haven't caught up with in so long and expect to hear from this person and when you do it just feels like you go back to where you were like you just naturally go back to the friendship the connection that you had um, I do think that this person is missing you I think they miss your friendship they miss having you around they miss spending time with you look there's a possible reconciliation with this person but it doesn't look even if you haven't had some sort of fallout it's just that maybe you know life got in the way and the both of you got busy but it's like you reconnect with this person and then you instantly pick up where you left up there's also some sort of um like going back to a childhood dream or going back to something that you've always wanted to do and pursue uh, you know when you were younger as a child so you could be reconnecting with your inner child you could be going back to something that you love doing. You could also be going back to a job or a company or like moving back to an area. This is a little specific, but um, it's like it's not for some, but this is only for a handful of you. You could be either you're visiting some place. Eight of Wands is air travel, right? So you could be going back to some place that you haven't been in some time and you could be visiting family and friends there okay so some of you are traveling um it's some place that you love or it's some place that is special to you or some place that feels like home or a second home to you some of you are moving back you're relocating right to a place that to an area or a home a specific home that you once lived in and then you moved out and you miss it six of cups is a very nostalgic energy a yearning a longing you miss this it's this energy there's an energy behind this where you're yearning or longing for something that you've once had whether it's in, in your possession whether it was a connection or a friendship and so you're going back to a place that you know you loved living in a place that you loved visiting a place that always felt like home to you or a second home to you um it, yeah travel is indicated here if it's not traveled then it's you relocating you moving back to a home or an area or a neighborhood um could also be going back to a country that you've always loved and it just felt like home to you um it could be you going back to something that you love to do as a kid, whether it's drawing or writing or painting or photography or pottery or learning an instrument. You know, it doesn't matter whether you're good at it or not. It's just that you love doing it. That's how you love to spend your time. So you're going back to something. You could also be like, it could be something that you haven't done in such a long time. And all of a sudden you pick it back up again. And you'll wonder why you ever stopped. So say, for example, you've loved painting and you used to paint or photography and then you stop doing it because you got busy, life got in the way and then randomly you get back into it. And then you wonder to yourself, why is it that you, why is it that you even stopped in the first place? So definitely this energy of going back to something that you love or you love doing. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for your time, your energy and your attention. Bye for now.